I didn't know if you wanted to. Since we're going late. Uh, All right. Oh, YouTube is hungry. live now. So just see. <laughs> the other night, the other night, my flu fire. This is a organ. No, because it's a little bit of an unruly group sometimes. Maybe they're going with the picture here. Oh. Maybe they're going with the picture here. Oh. Maybe they're going with the picture here. <laughs> you need to sit there. Oh, well, yeah, and I thought those people that think I'm going to be careful. Yeah, I thought that. Okay, you know what it's supposed to be? I can't see my back turned. Yeah, so you can go back. Yeah, I can see my back turned. And then I thought, okay. Okay, you need to go for it. I don't know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I I one and I don't know why I like them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's never been great. it's she's still the she did or he did. Oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Testing, testing. Testing, yeah. testing. Testing, testing. Okay. 
They're slowly but surely making their way in.
I, we can hear you. How's everybody today? Good. It's good to see everyone. Uh, I'm not sure how many of you were uh, in attendance on Friday uh, when one of my flute choirs, Flutissimo, uh, played kind of a rock and roll pop oriented concert. Uh, today is quite a bit different than Friday than Friday evening. Uh, if you are uh, so so intrigued or or so interested and you want to dance through this, some of these pieces, you're more than welcome to do it. Probably Friday was a little bit more appropriate uh, than today is. So we're going to get started. Uh, you know, I was talking to, to Meg about this earlier. Uh, I think we may have been the first Zoom concert to Zoom into Larksfield all the way back. I think uh, we did one in June or August, something like that, last year. And... Uh, Today, we're getting a little bit closer because I'm actually in Wichita at Blessed Sacrament uh, Catholic Church uh, with my wonderful friend and colleague, Patrick Harms, and, uh, and their new amazingly glorious uh, pipe organ uh, here in the venue. Uh, I'm going to ask Patrick to do a little bit of playing on his own without the flute and also uh, explain a little bit about this instrument, this wonderful instrument here. Uh, but for today, we're going to start out with a piece uh, by uh, Johannes Donjon, who was actually a flute player, played principal with the uh, Paris Opera Orchestra, and uh, studied at the Paris Conservatory, of course, with uh, Toulou, uh, who had been at the Paris Conservatory for quite a long time, in fact, dating all the way back before the balm, uh, the modern balm instrument. And uh, uh, for those of you who are familiar with French music uh, from this particular period of history, it would have been a romantic period, uh, a little bit later than the Romantic period, I think you'll find this to be very, very French. Thank you. 
we actually have a, a crowd of people here at the church, which is, which is absolutely wonderful. All right, so before we go into the next piece uh, uh, by Alain, I'm going to have Patrick uh, play some samples from this wonderful instrument and tell you a little bit about uh, our next composer as well. Mistoso from Handel's Water Music, uh, played on this glorious instrument. This uh, instrument was taken from a large number of the pipes that we had in the old instrument here at the church. Um, its electronics were all out of whack, so we went through and had it rebuilt and added some more pipes, and that was done by the Berghaus Organ Company out of Chicago, Illinois. So we're very blessed to have this wonderful instrument in this wonderful space with these acoustics. And it's just wonderful to share it with Veronica and uh, with all of you here today. So our next composer is uh, Jean Alain and his Trois Mouvement is a set of three pieces for, uh, it was originally written for flute and piano. Um, he did write an organ edition, uh, but uh, Jean Alain was of course French, as you might have guessed. Uh, he was born into a very musical family in 1911. Uh, I believe at least two others of his siblings be, went on to become famous musicians in their own right. His father was an organist and organ builder. Uh, I believe he studied at the Paris Conservatory with Marcel Dupre, uh, who was a fantastic organist, and um, Paul Dukas, uh, Sorcerer's Apprentice composer. Um, so his music is very inspired by both uh, Debussy, who I'm sure you've heard of, and uh, Olivier Messiaen who was a, once again, a French organ composer, and he finds ways to weave in uh, Far Eastern melodies and harmonies throughout his music. So I really hope you enjoy this. There are three movements to this work.
by, uh, well, I don't know, to uh, Patrick and, and myself, kind of a local celebrity of sorts, uh, because we both had Dr. Rausch, Dr. Dean Rausch, uh, during our time at Wichita State. And uh, in fact, today we were, hopefully he's not tuning in, we were telling <laughs> wonderful, wonderful stories uh, about Dr. Rausch and our time uh, uh, with him as our professor of uh, um, uh composition and for me grad theory and orals classes yeah. uh, for Patrick. Uh, but the one thing that we 
of course, agreed on is uh, just a wonderful mentor, uh, really, really great composer, and uh, and a, a local person as well, which he makes it even more special to play this work. So the dove descending, and I'm going to read it from uh, the insert uh, that Dr. Rausch has uh, in this particular piece of music, the published pe uh, piece of music. The dove descending is a partita or a variation suite. There are seven movements to it on the medieval uh, Pentecost hymn, Venti Creator Spiritus, which is Come Creator Spirit, which appears as a cantus firmus in various forms throughout. So it's a common melodic content throughout all of the, the variations. It's a little bit tricky to find because it is a modern piece of music. It was composed in 1991, and the seven variations, besides corresponding to the hymn's seven stanzas, are character pieces based on the seven of the fruit of the spirit given by Paul in Galatians 5.22. So the seven are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, and faith. Uh, and I'm going to read before we start each of the movements, uh, the, um, uh, the variations uh, that uh, come from the, the hymn itself. So the first movement, which is love, Dr. Rausch has come, Holy Spirit, creator blessed, and in our souls take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou hast made. movement is joy. O comforter, to thee requi, we cry. O heavenly gift of God most high. O fount of life and fire of love and sweet anointing from above. Thank you. 
Next movement is peace. Thou and thy sevenfold gifts are known. Thou finger of God's hand we own. Thou promise of the Father, thou who dost the tongue with power imbue. Fourth movement is patience. Kindle our sense from above and make our hearts overflow with love, with patience firm and virtue high, the weakness of our flesh supply. Drive the foe we dread, and grant us thy peace instead. So shall we not, with thee for guide, turn from the path of life aside.
goodness. Oh, may thy grace on us bestow the Father and the Son to know, and thee, through endless times confessed, of both the eternal spirit, blessed. <laughs> to the Father and the Son, who rose from death, be glory given, with thou, O holy comforter, henceforth by all in earth and heaven. Amen. Krebs. Uh, he was a German organ composer. I believe both he and his father studied with Johann Sebastian. Having a large number of works, he didn't actually ever have a, com a composing job. Uh, so thus he found a hard time trying to feed his seven children, uh, which is well, something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like Patrick said, he never he never had a court uh, court uh, position at all or a commission. He has a large, a fairly large body of work. And uh, so anyway, but good pieces. So we're exploring him today. Thank you. 
is a uh, sonata by uh, Coretti, who was a, a Baroque composer. It had a good long life, 1709 to 1795. Kind of unusual for that period of time with uh, not the healthcare that we have today, uh, for sure. Uh, but a very, very nice work. Thank you. 
Thank you so much for joining us today uh, and experiencing this wonderful organ. And uh, hopefully at some point or another, Patrick and I can visit in person. We're getting pretty close. We're only uh, about 10 miles away from where you folks are. The final piece on our, on our program is my personal favorite. I don't know if it's Patrick's, but it's certainly mine uh, because we get to hear the glorious tones of this wonderful organ pretty much full, full out. Uh, uh, Hartman was a Danish composer third generation composer. That's pretty, in, that's pretty impressive. And uh, so anyway, thank you again so much for joining us and the folks that are in the congregation. They also replaced the entire ceiling in this building. And it has made this building one of the best places that I've ever played because it's absolutely stunning. Uh, so anytime the, the wonderful uh, choir director, Rachel, uh, texts me and asks me to come up to play, I'm, I'm here. No, I was going to say in a heartbeat, but it takes me about four and a half hours to get up here from and uh, but I usually uh, pack up my stuff and my flute and come on up so I can work with great people like Patrick and Rachel. So thank you again for joining us. And Jeremy, thank you so much for helping us out with the, uh, the video and the audio today. And uh, we're going to end with the preludium for flute and organ by Johann Peter, uh, I can't say his other name, uh, Hartman. <laughs>
thank you again, Jeremy. And uh, have a great rest of the day, everyone. Thank you so much for joining.